This next feature will demonstrate how Templator can switch between project files that are specified right within the spreadsheet. So let's take a look. This project that I have open now is connected to a particular spreadsheet. And if I hit preview, you can see that we are getting some data in there. And let's go and look at the spreadsheet that's driving this. You'll notice that we now introduce a new column header called AEP. And this is a reserved header. So under this column are absolute paths to specific After Effects project files. So what this means is when Templator comes across this job, it's going to open up this project file and process it against all of the data within that job. Likewise, when it hits row three, it's going to open up this project file and apply this data to it. So let's take a look and see how it works. All right, so you can see this is the standard project file that I've been using in pretty much many of my screencasts. And what I've done is I've created an alternative version that just has a different layout and um, you know it's, it's comprised of different compositions. So let's go ahead and open that up. It's sitting right on my desktop right here. So I'm gonna click open and I'm not gonna save that. Okay, so you can see here we've got you know, a similar composition um, and it's got a different layout with um, you know, different animation and different you know, properties. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you what happens when we click on render now. So if I hit render, you're gonna see After Effects process the original one that I just had open, taking care of that. Then it's gonna open up the other one, render this one out with all the corresponding data. It's gonna go back and open up the original one, render that one out. And then finally, it's going to open up the new alternative one and render the final one with the correct data. Okay, so there are some caveats to using this feature. For this feature to work, you really do need to specify the target compositions that you want to render out, either in your spreadsheet using the target column here, or by baking in the target composition into your project by using the double brace notation that I've shown previously. So that will do the trick as well. So be sure to either, again, specify the target composition in the column or rename the target comp that you want with the double brace notation. And remember that this feature will also work with replicate. So let's take a look at how it works. So if I just click replicate right here, you're gonna see Templator switch between projects, do the replication, save the project, open up the next one, and repeat the process as necessary. So that's really helpful when you want to use the Adobe Media Encoder rather than After Effects's standard render queue. One final comment about this feature is that when you're specifying the project files, be sure that each of those projects that you specify in the spreadsheet open up without any issues within After Effects. For example, if you have missing fonts or missing effects in a project, Templator will stop in its tracks, so be sure to verify that your project files are opening up without any hitches.